Kafka, News Nation political analyst. Uh, she was also a senior aide to President Obama and Dr. Lauren Wright, associate research scholar and lecturer in politics and public affairs at Princeton University. Ladies, good morning to you. Johanna, I got to start with you. What do you make of, of DeSantis trying to point the finger at the former president, specifically for this particular instance yeah. at a time when his campaign is struggling? Yeah. Good morning. Um, it is always a hot summer for politics. It just keeps coming. But, you know, I think, Adrian, him going after big tech would have a lane in the primary uh, electorate. Him going after big tech against Hunter Biden, I mean, Donald Trump does that regularly. This particular allegation, you've got him saying that DOJ didn't investigate it quickly enough, but the truth is it came out in October of 2020 because the Trump campaign put it out. It was investigated. The DOJ announced their investigation by December. I don't think it's going to land. The question, you know, DeSantis has some time, right? We don't see votes until January, but he's got to get a message that's stronger. And my position is, if he's going to appeal to a broader base than Donald Trump, he shouldn't be running to the far right of Donald Trump. He should be trying to find those moderate, centrist voters. And I think the summer is the time to look for them. Yeah, I don't know if that's his messaging uh, at all, especially in light of the recent laws he passed in his own state, some of the strictest immigration mm -hmm. policy in the nation and in history, for, for that matter. Uh, Dr. Wright, do you yeah. think he's further alienating himself from the base? You know, that's the risk of some of these conservative policies. And, you know, I actually agree with Johanna. I don't um, understand DeSantis's strategy here because Trump would say, hey, I'm the number one person who's censored by big tech. And the criticism that, you know, Trump didn't interfere with the DOJ enough um, isn't one I've heard before. But I think on policy, that's where DeSantis needs to change his message, right? He, you know, he has said he is running on the same Trump policies, different style, more competent. He needs to run on a policy contrast with Trump on COVID lockdowns for one and learning loss. He has a great record there. Uh, he can do it on crime. He can say Trump instituted the most liberal, you know, prison reform uh, policy since Democrats were presidents. He can, there are lots of areas where he can force Trump to articulate a position and say, this person isn't really conservative. And so some of those, you're right, like abortion might alienate moderate voters, but there are some that have a wider appeal and those are the ones he really needs to test out now yeah test out at a national level and not just act like america can be can be treated the same as his state of florida desantis also was quoted in that same interview as saying the media does not want me to be the nom or does not want me to be the nominee i think that's very very clear why because they know i will beat biden johanna he was a media darling until he came out officially running for the Republican nomination, does he need a reality check here? Something happened. The, flip I, I was, think he, the he, switch was flipped. He, yeah, he needs a new media strategy. And actually, some of that started to come out. The Wall Street Journal talked about the campaign trying to figure out their media strategy. And right now, they've been going to very far right outlets and doing all of, I mean, they've done Fox and they do that, but it's really far right outlets and then an outlet that's very friendly to him instead of taking tough questions. And I think that a lot of people on News Nation believe that if you want to be president of the United States, if you want to run against Joe Biden, you have to take questions from everyone. Take questions from, you know, News Nation would be a great place, but the truth is we're not seeing him do that yet. Now, he says he's going to roll out a series of policies policy announcements. And when he does that, he's going to start going on other outlets other than Fox. And that might help him because he'll get questions that are different than these far right questions that are coming from Maria Bartiroma and others. Well, and I think that, to be honest, and maybe Dr. Wright, you can weigh in here, there seems to be some hesitation as far as him really showing us who he is beyond his policies in the state of Florida, beyond the fact that he wants to go after his former mentor, really, former President Trump, it seems as though he's still kind of guarded and that the American people see through that. 
I mean, some of that his surrogates and especially his wife can help with, and they seem willing to do that. Uh, practice makes perfect at this stage of the game when you're trying to shore up a candidate's personality. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, we've seen this story before. We saw it in 2016. There was a huge stage of GOP hopefuls leading up to the primary in the summer. Uh, Trump was close to 50 percent. Kasich was in the mix. Cruz was second. And people were scared to attack Trump, and they waited way too long to do that. And so, yes, DeSantis has time, but he is running running out of it. And so he needs to draw a contrast. He needs to have a very clear message. And that message, in my opinion, needs to be policy oriented. And it needs to be a pretty hard nosed message against the former president. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.